Meantime, hundreds of people went to a vigil on campus tonight to honor Dr. Zhu Ji Yen, who died in a shooting on campus yesterday. Good evening, I'm Chad Silber. And I'm Sydney Moore. Tonight we are learning more about the suspect, his relationship to the victim, and we are hearing from someone who knew the victim for over a decade about his work and impact on the world. As part of our team coverage tonight, Nixon Norman is in Chapel Hill as the vigil wraps up, and I, Denise McMiller, heard from someone who knew the victim well. Let's start with Nixon. Sounds like an incredible turnout at the visual tonight, Nixon. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right, Sydney. Hundreds of UNC students gathered in the middle of campus tonight to honor Dr. Yen, an associate professor who had worked for the school since 2019. The students held a candlelight vigil where they were able to express their thoughts and opinions on yesterday's shooting. Many of them were mad, many of them were sad, and other it mentioned that this is the reality we live in now. Honestly, it's sad that it, this happened on our campus, but this is also reality for us, especially growing up. And for us to continue going through this cycle of gun violence, I mean, this is a place of learning. For us, this is our home away from home. That cycle of gun violence was a common theme at tonight's vigil. One young person after the next expressed their feelings about that cycle they've heard about over and over again. Some of them have even faced it in their own lives. You've heard about the cycle, someone does a shooting, there's a period of mourning, and then people forget. Shoot, mourn, forget. It's the same thing every time. And it's one thing to study that cycle, and a totally different thing to suddenly become a part of it. Now, many of the students at tonight's vigil demanded action, whether that be gun or mental health reform or standing in solidarity with each other. But they say something must be done. Live in Chapel Hill, I'm Nixon Norman, WFMY News 2.